So in this video, we'll be looking at a challenge called Authenticator. So let's read the challenge info that we have managed to steal one of the authenticator devices. And if we manage to understand how it works and the credentials, we may be able to bypass all the security locked doors and gain access everywhere. So this challenge will raise 33 euros for a good cause. Okay. So it has provided us with a downloadable instance, which I already have downloaded. It is authenticator. Let's run authenticator just to see what it, ha what happens. So as you can see, access denied. So let's run strings authenticator less. So as you can see, we do not get much information. The alien ID pin is 11337 and it says either access denied or access granted. It is also asking for a pin. So if we enter the right pin, we get an access granted and submit pin in the flag format. This, this is the flag format. So let's try to run again. Authenticator. The pin was double one double three seven. Again, it asks us for a pin, new pin. So let's enter ASDF. It says access denied. So what happened is I tried to figure out how we could solve it. So what happened was I tried Radare. It did not help me. So the next thing that I tried was Ghidra. So Ghidra proved to be helpful. So this is the instance. So let us launch it. Let us analyze it. So we what we are looking for is in the functions tab, we will either be looking for a start or a main function. This is the main function guys. So this is the entire program. Please enter your credentials to continue alien ID. If uh, it uh, asks for alien ID and it is stored in the local 58 variable, it compares it with double one double three seven. If the comparison is successful, it asks us for a pin. Otherwise it will ask her for a, it will throw us an access denied. After that, the, after that, the uh, alien, ID, alien ID has been entered. It will ask us for a pin and if we enter uh, the pin will be entered in local 38 variable the local 38 variable is being passed to a function called check pin so let's see what check pin function is so this is the parameter that it is been passed as this is the pin that we entered right now so there are two variables defined one of them is svar1 and the second is local 20 local 24 which is as defined as int type so overall what is happening over here is this is the obfuscated code it has been declared as a as a character array and we are fetching each character because local 24 is first defined as zero so what it will do is it will fetch the zeroth character it will XOR it with 9u and it will compare it with the first character that we passed in the pin and if it is fine then it will increment local 24 by 1 but if it is not then it will break the loop and we will get an access denied so what I did was I copied the entire text over here and made my own C program because essentially what is this is the condition that I, that is that it is being checked against so I thought that this would be the flag for the challenge so let us launch an online C compiler let us move the thing so there are uh, we'll declare a few variables int local 24 first which is declared as 0 we'll define a character array of tr name we will give it a size uh, right now but first let us paste what it was given so this is the value that is being compared so as our size of the string character will be defined by this thing so let us copy it our terminal python len so as you can see the length is 42 so we'll be making it of size 42 and we will be defining it in for loop for local 24 since it is already defined as 0 declared as 0 we'll do, we do not have to redeclare it local 24 less than 42 and local 24 plus plus and let us terminate it with the semicolon and str local 24 is equal to this since there is no data type as byte so we'll be replacing byte with char and towards the end we will be printing percentile s comma 
str. So let's see if this works. Okay, print f. So this is the flag for the challenge, guys. 